Okay. Yeah, so we're going to try this out and see how it works. So the way it's going to show, I'm going to show you guys this tweet, and it's going to be a quote from Kevin Stefanski here. Steve, we can take the tweet here on Tagboard. So first up, Kevin Stefanski said he was fine not acquiring a veteran quarterback, reiterating that he likes our roster. So on the BS meter, which we're going to show here, is Bulls baseline BS meter from 1 to 10, 1 being completely believable, 10 being total BS. Bull, what do you have to say about it? I think I gave it a 10. Right? Is that what I put? 10? You did. You did give it a 10. Oh, the bull turned red. Uh, yeah. It's a ten. Now, I do think he likes the roster. That part of this, I, I agree with. But he doesn't like the quarterback. He has to be frustrated. What coach would not want another quarterback on this team? And there's no way he really believes that. So I think that is 100% BS that he's not frustrated that he didn't get a quarterback. <laughs> now... Uh, maybe I should have said eight because maybe he's not frustrated because maybe he knows that they really tried hard and in the end they couldn't get it done. And, you know, he has inside information that we don't have, so maybe I should have softened a little with an eight. But overall, there's no way he can be happy with the quarterback situation. It's funny that you had mentioned that last little part. Yeah. Because I gave it a nine out of ten for that exact reason. Yeah. Maybe he knows they tried, and if you try and you don't succeed, well, at least you know you tried. But he said on Monday, we can't deal with turnovers. I cannot have my quarterback turn the ball over. Right. And what does P.J. Walker do better than literally anyone else in the league right now? He turns the ball over, which is the worst thing you can do as a quarterback. So I went with a 9 out of 10 because I do think he's frustrated they did not bring someone in. But I gave him that 1 out of 10 little little sliver yeah. for the fact that maybe he knows they did try and it just it wasn't possible. But I'm calling BS. Right, There's no right. way he's no, he's no happy way. they didn't make it. Make G- Let me look at these. The, uh, you got one that's a 10, one that's a 9. One thing I can g- give you. Is that PJ Walker? Um, he does a lot of limp biscuit. Code word: Give it away. <laughs> give it away. Give, give it, it away. away. Give it away. Now. Give it away. Now <laughs> he's giving it away every week, and Coach Stefanski is looking around like I can't have this. Yeah, I like the BS meter on both of you guys because he's visibly shaking in his heart of hearts. He's visibly frustrated because he feels like. I could be winning these games. I could have Deshaun Watson. He, we could be running around. We could be 6-1 and one right now. But I got these bums at quarterback, and I can't do anything about it. So, yes, I, I agree with those guys. I think we'll split the difference between them, a 9 BSC meter, and I, I'll take both of them. They, they, they're, they're true I factual. I wonder where – and obviously the Browns have, you know, they, they lost um, – they've only lost well, – they, they've lost two games since Watson got hurt, right? The Raven, yeah, two games. If, you know, Deshaun Watson had played, obviously, his best game with Tennessee. If he had not gotten hurt in this game, like, y- you think about, like, where would they be? Mm-hmm. Right? Would they have won all four? Like, w- was he about to pop again? Right. Or was he going to be up and down? I don't, we'll That's never know. That's so frustrating. But, yeah. We just, we don't know. And you notice the most frustrating part that, that a lot of people, we talk about, you know, how your mind plays tricks on you. When we get to next year. You're not even going to count this as a year of Deshaun Watson. Yeah, it's going to be another it's, question it, mark. It's a, yeah. you, you got another, even if they make the playoffs, right? Yeah. You're not going to have enough sample size or enough work to even judge whether or not Deshaun Watson is Right. Here. We're going into next year, still so, not sure what he is at yeah. this point. Golly. That don't, don't that suck? Yeah. Three full seasons since a healthy Deshaun. That's crazy. Ahead, All right, so one. the next quote and the next tweet, which you guys both answered was, Kevin Stefanski said P.J. Walker will start versus the Cardinals if Deshaun Watson can't play. Bull, you gave this a 2 out of 10. Pretty believable. Mike, yeah, you mean, gave what, this a 1 out of 10. What are you lying about or, here? Yeah. I gave it a 1 out of 10 because I don't fully believe anything a coach says. If he told me his name was Kevin Stefanski, I'd be like, that's probably a what little fishy. What do you mean give it a 1? One's the lowest you can give it then. Well, yeah, it's like it's the lowest. Like, I believe what he's saying. I'm, yeah. I only gave it a one because I'm, I'm always skeptical I, at a press conference setting, but yeah. I have no reason not to believe that. Yeah, so, the, yeah. lowest grade and, I can and, give it. And, you guys are right. This is very low because it's probably one of the reasons they didn't bring in a veteran quarterback. Because what happens is, say they did, say say in in a world they did go get another quarterback. You know, in our minds, we count down to when he gonna play. <laughs> we gonna right, we gonna true, be like, yeah. well, you got this guy for a reason. Why would you be playing PJ Walker? Yeah, right. So I think they kind of made a decision. Okay, well at least we know what we got in these two guys. And this is a bad thing though. Watch this. Say, say they do go out and get a, a quarterback and, and they trade for him, right? And, it's, and he's good. Say they did get a Jacoby Brissett. What if Jacoby Brissett plays so well that he leads them, 
they get into the playoffs. It's seamless. Now you come back next year, and like we said, it's three whole years. Nope. Yeah, I don't nope. think it wouldn't matter. Nope. I, I don't it's think that, that's not a reason not to make the trade. I don't think. Now, you got any more, Anthony, or is that it? We do. No, we, no, we have one, one more. more. Okay, Let yeah. me get it up here real quick. So, Odds. Deshaun Watson. Yeah. That was a good one. Yeah, Deshaun Watson will practice on a limited basis today. Stefanski said, I'm not making any game time decisions today. Any game day decisions. Any game, game day decisions today. Oh. I Mike, we'll get, let you go first with this one. What did I give this? I gave this one a 7 out of 10. And here, here's why I'm calling BS on it. If Deshaun came out yesterday yeah. was with visible zip on his passes, he looked great. No pain. He felt awesome and said, hey, coach, I'm playing. Then the decision's made. It's not a decision. It, it, it's a fact that Deshaun Watson would play. Now, granted, we heard from Deshaun earlier in the show. Yeah. We've, since then, since I sent that in, got some new information, which well, clearly wasn't the case. Give me the quote again. Can you put it back up, Anthony? The quote was, he was not ready to make any game day decisions yesterday. And I believe that if Deshaun looked great, he would have made a game day decision. Deshaun's my quarterback. He's starting point blank period. Mm. So I called BS on it because right. it depend, was all dependent on how Deshaun looked. Right. And he said that before they practiced. So. Ah, uh, fair. That's fair. I uh, yeah, I give it a five. I mean, because yeah, they same can go range. either way. Same range. They go either way. He could. I mean, he could. I, I like both the scores. He could have flip flopped on it a little bit, but he he said today, which really gave him a lot of lock in ability. So right, I, yeah, like right. That's so true. Said, now if he would have said, "I ain't making no decision until Sunday," then right. he had more wiggle. Yeah. But if Deshaun looked went out there yesterday and, and looked horrendous and was in clear, invisible pain. I, I, I actually don't out. think he was going to make a decision yesterday because at Doesn't the very least, he'd want to see how respo- how Watson responded the next day. That's just why I didn't give him a 10 out of 10. All right. Very good. I'm just calling it something a little fishy. If, if it looked a certain way, he could have made a decision. Yeah. But I didn't expect him to. By, by the way, remember when LeBron first came back to Cleveland and uh, he had, like, he was kind of hurt and he just went to, like, Europe and got this, like, platelet stuff? The knees. Kobe yeah. did the same thing, too. Like, like, is that, is that legal? Can, can, can Deshaun Watson get that off? I, I was like, I was like, did he really do that? Yeah, he did man. that in Deshaun, the go get a plasma and shot he, in Europe, man. And he, LeBron was real skinny. He came back and was like 245, <laughs> 250 again. Like, and in like nine days, I was like, bro, I don't know what kind of platelet release plasma they're giving you, but we need to get everybody on that program. I don't know what he's doing, but the Jets general manager, Joe Douglas, said we fully expect Aaron Rodgers to be back this season. Which, oh, that's ridiculous. No. Oh, Which no. may or may not happen. Who knows? Come on. <laughs> but that would defy every medical timeline that humanity has ever seen. He'd been locked. And if he's whatever drugs or medicine or platelets or, or mushrooms or, or whatever dark he's doing, if it works, by everyone way, has to start doing it. By the way, you know what happened? Like all his conspiracy theories, well, people will believe all his nonsense. Oh, they will. If he comes back so oh, quicker. L- listen, he's he listen, he's gonna be the new info warrants if he come yeah, back and yeah. throw this it up. It does set up a very interesting week seventeen matchup on Thursday he's night not football. Play. I, 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 don't believe I don't believe that. I don't believe I think it's impossible too. I'm just saying their GM now has said to the public at a press yeah. conference. N- we fully expect Aaron Rodgers back now, this season. Now I did see Which sets the weird precedent which we came back to earlier with Kevin Stefanski, he's going to play. Andrew Barry says he's going to play for San Francisco. The GM has now put it out there that he expects Aaron Rodgers to play. Maybe he's trying to keep season ticket holders involved. Yeah, who knows? Yeah. Nah, Jeff fans go anyway. But but you, you see what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah that's crazy, out. though. Go ahead, Anthony. Yeah, guys, we're still waiting for a DD, but while we wait, I'm going to remind everybody that you can score early this NFL season with FanDuel, America's number one sports book. Right now, new customers get $150 in bonus bets with any winning $5 money line bet. That's $150 if your team wins. If you've been thinking about joining FanDuel, there's absolutely no better time to get in on all the action. The app is super easy to use. There's a wide range of betting options, including spreads, player props, over-unders, and more. So go ahead and visit FanDuel.com UCSS to kick off the NFL season. FanDuel, the official partner of the NFL.